Welcome to today update please subscribe and check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Alcohol giant Constellation Brands Incorporated is making a foray into marijuana, a precedent-setting move for an industry that has mostly stayed on the sidelines during the cannabis boom. Constellation will pay about 245 million Canadian dollars, 191 million dollars, for a 9.9% stake in Canopy Growth Corporation, a Canadian seller of medicinal marijuana products. The deal kicked off the biggest rally in nearly a year for Canopy, which trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange and the ticker weed. The legalization of marijuana in Canada and a growing number of U.S. states is opening up a huge potential market, just as demand for alcohol is slowing. Still, pot remains prohibited at the U.S. federal level, meaning American companies have to tread carefully. Constellation, based in Victor, New York, said it has no plans to sell cannabis in the U.S. or other markets until it's legal at all government levels. For now, it's more a matter of identifying markets with growth potential, said Chief Executive Officer Rob Sands, whose company sells Corona beer, Svetka Vodka and other brands. Our company's success is the result of our focus on identifying early-stage consumer trends, and this is another step in that direction," he said in a statement. For Canopy, the deal values the business at roughly 2.5 billion Canadian dollars, catapulting it into the highest echelons of the marijuana industry. Constellation also would become the company's biggest shareholder. Canopy's stock gained as much as 23% to 15 Canadian dollars and 72 cents on Monday, marking its biggest intraday jump since November 2016. The transaction also boosted the shares of other cannabis stocks, as investors bet that future deals are in the offing. Shares of Med Relief Corporation rose as much as 16%, Aurora Cannabis Incorporated gained 8.4%, and Afria Incorporated was up 11%. As part of the Constellation Agreement, the two companies will collaborate on cannabis based beverages that can be sold as adult products but only in places where the products are legal at the federal level. While Canada plans to legalize recreational marijuana by July 2018, the initial product offerings will be limited, said Bruce Linton, Canopy's CEO. Edibles and cannabis-infused beverages won't be permitted at the outset. That will change in the coming years as Canada moves to extinguish the black market and these products will be phased in over time, he said. This looks a lot like the new normal, Linton said by phone, noting that Canopy and Constellation have a blank sheet to create cannabis-infused beverages. There's no need to include alcohol, nor is there an intent to include alcohol in how we follow through with things. In the U.S., meanwhile, 64% of the population now wants to lift the ban on cannabis, according to a Gallup poll released last week. That's the widest margin since the firm began asking about the topic in 1969, when only 12% of the population approved. Legalization wave eight states and Washington, D.C., have legalized marijuana for adult use. That means one in five Americans over the age of 21 are allowed to eat, drink, smoke or vape cannabis, even though it remains illegal at the federal level. 21 additional states allow it for medicinal purposes. The legal cannabis market was $6 billion last year and is expected to reach $50 billion by 2026, according to Cowan and Company. The Constellation deal includes warrants that will let it eventually double its stake. The purchase is expected to close during the company's third fiscal quarter. Hershey planned. Constellation is paying $12.98 a share. 1.5% above Canopy's closing price of 12 Canadian dollars and 79 cents at the end of last week. Shares of the marijuana seller, which is based in an old Hershey chocolate factory in Smiths Falls, Ontario, had already surged 40% this year. We see this transaction as a game changer for Canopy, as well as the industry at large, Beacon Securities analyst Van Ajamian said in a note. He recommends buying Canopy shares and raised his target price to 16 Canadian dollars and 50 cents from 14 Canadian dollars. The Constellation transaction could be the first of many, Ajamian said.
we suspect more alcohol companies may look to accelerate plans to enter the industry, as well as pharmaceutical and tobacco companies, he said. With assistance by Jennifer Kaplan and Jens Garrett.